Let me just tell you a little bit about the enemy. Um, and I don't want to, by starting out with the foreign websites, I don't want you to think that that's the, the whole ball of wax. There are 92 countries in the world where producing child porn is legal, uh, absolutely legal. Um, but most of it is produced in the United States, and almost all the consumption of child porn is in the United States. There's over 100,000 websites in this country alone. It's, um, they clear about a, well, they clear over a hundred million dollars a year in profit. It's a multi-billion dollar a year industry. Um, among child porn websites, if you look at the percentage of what it is, it's not just drawings of children or snapshots of naked children in a swimming pool. Eighty percent of child porn includes fornication, actual penetration of the child on camera or video. Recently, um, a, a, a ring was busted in Chicago where they had a pay-per-view raping of an 18-month-old baby. And uh, there are several states, California one of them, where uh, possessing child porn, even images such as these, is still a misdemeanor. Um, to give you an example of just how bad it can get, um, you can here in the United States uh, log on to a website in Estonia where on a live camera feed you can see the children sitting on risers and you pick the child you want, type in what you want done to it, the child is dragged into another room in front of another camera and that is done for you to enjoy in the privacy of your own home. Um, organizations such as NAMBLA, a multi, multi-million dollar organization, totally organized, they're now located in the Netherlands, I think they were dr driven out of the United States. Our, work, our, our opposition is so wealthy and so organized, yet is able to fly underneath the radar because children are not oil. Um, it doesn't, nothing seems to get the attention of the United States, of the Congress. Um, we met, uh, Greer and I uh, went around and met at least 50 members of Congress just in the last year. I can count on one hand uh, the, the congressional members who, who actually showed an interest and decided to get involved. Um, shame on this Congress. Shame on this Congress that for 12 years this has been in front of your face but because it doesn't put money in the pockets of whoever you work for, you have done nothing. Well this is what we'd like you to do. It's put up or shut up time. We have a pledge for a national war on child predators. A one billion dollar funded organization. That's opposed to the 30 million total that the government now spends per year fighting the war on child pornography and child predators. We want one billion dollars. Instead of the nine dedicated FBI agents, we want 2,000 dedicated federal agents from ICE and FBI in the field. No forensic labs are dedicated to, to stripping these hard drives and finding these images, so everybody has to wait in line and wait their turn at the lab. Months go by, the children are continuing to, to, to be raped. We want 20 dedicated labs dedicated to child sex, internet sex, sex crimes alone. We, had, we need 186 new uh, federal prosecutors, that's two more per district, that exclusively prosecute child exploitation and other crimes against children. We have the cost break broken down on all of this. This is, this is the, uh, that breaks it down for you so you can you to follow as I speak too rapidly. And accountability is incredibly crucial. Um, credit card companies, lending facilities, the banks, everything that facilitates people to use internet service providers that provide these websites to the American consumer need to be held accountable. That information needs to be turned over immediately to the proper authorities. But the greatest problem we face, the greatest problem is there is not enough people, there's not enough manpower. They know that the people are out. The easiest thing in the world is to go arrest these people. They can find them. The trail back through the internet is completely traceable. The tracks are there. We don't have the people to go get them. They have to triage. They have to find the ones that do the most damage for the least amount of effort and cost the least amount of money and go after them and prosecute them. This is an embarrassment to the greatest country in the world. An embarrassment. Look at the bridge to nowhere. $233 million spent on a, on a highway bridge and we spend 30 to protect our children from being raped and tortured. Eight, as I said before, 80% of images on, uh, of child porn on the internet, 80% involve actual intercourse with the baby. 
30% of that involves torture and bondage. Nobody wants to just look at them naked. They want stuff done to them. That's what gets them off. And how shameful it is that this Congress is now only beginning to raise their head and say, because one of their own is discovered as one of these people, they raise their head and say, well, where was this? We've got to do something about it. We're all against child porn. Well, where were they for the last 12 years? What we're asking is, to, is for every member of Congress to sign this pledge to become a part of and support and vote for and carry the proper legislation for a $1 billion federal war on child predators. We ask for the things that, that I mentioned before, but we're going to get a copy of this to every single con uh, congressional office on Capitol Hill. And we're going to give them until about, oh, a week, 10 days before the election to get back to us. We'll make a follow-up phone call. But then we're going to report the people who signed on publicly, coast to coast, and we're going to report the people who didn't. So the voters know when they go to the polls, the people who signed up to protect your children and the people who decided to stick their head back in the sand.